What's up everyone, the Game 2K2 here again, and today I'm going to continue my review of the Scary Movie series with my review of Scary Movie 2. After the original Scary Movie became a gigantic box office success, there was no denying that a sequel would be on the way. While Scary Movie 1 parodied successful horror flicks like Scream and The Sixth Sense, Scary Movie 2 parodies a really bad horror flick that deserved to be made fun of. And I'm talking about 1999's remake of the 1963 classic, The Haunting. As I mentioned before when I reviewed Scary Movie 1, spoofs can either be funny or extremely dumb. Scary Movie 2 kind of falls into both places because while some of the humor works, the rest doesn't quite deliver as well. The reason why Scary Movie 1 did so well was because it knew what to make fun of. With Scary Movie 2, it almost seemed like they ran out of ideas and tried to fill in the blanks. That's not to say there isn't great humor in Scary Movie 2. I love the reworking of the haunting story, and I like the jokes that they gave the ghosts in the movie. Also, the beginning of the movie and the spoof of The Exorcist is unbelievably funny. Then there are jokes that fall very, very flat. A lot of the sex jokes don't work very well. The gay humor also falls flat. I don't mind gay jokes, but Scary Movie 2 takes it a couple steps too far, except for the clown bit. The bit with Sean Waynes and the clown is classic. Then there are moments that are so stupid that you can't even chuckle over its stupidity. The skeleton joke with the characters Cindy and Brenda is nowhere near funny. Then there are pointless jokes like the marijuana plant bit. However, there are a couple pointless jokes that actually work. I don't know why, but I always loved the basketball joke. That always made me laugh for some reason. The cat fight also made me chuckle a little bit. Only four actors from the original cast return for Scary Movie 2. Anna Ferris returns as the character of Cindy. Ferris is just as funny as she was in the first Scary Movie, and is even more over the top than she was in the first film, which is surprising. Regina Hall as Brenda is given more to do this time around and is a mix of being funny and very annoying. There are moments when she'll make you laugh and others where you'll want to really choke her. Sean and Marlon Wayans return as the characters of Ray and Shorty. While I didn't find them as funny as they were in the first film, they're still very hilarious and really fun to watch. Scary Movie 2 also sees some additions to the cast. I was pretty stunned to see Tim Curry as Professor Oldman in this film. While Curry is pretty well known for his comedic work, this was the last type of comedy I ever expected him to do. David Cross as Dwight Hartman is just plain hilarious. Cross always is always very over the top in his comedy, so Scary Movie 2 was right up his alley. However, the funniest addition was Chris Elliott as Hanson. He had me cracking up in all of his scenes. However, a couple casting choices don't pan out too well. Christopher Masterson as Buddy is one, and Kathleen Robertson as Theo is the other. I don't think it's as much, is, it's as, much them as it is their characters, because the characters seemed rather bland compared to everyone else. Overall, Scary Movie 2 is fairly funny and is still enjoyable but is nowhere near being as good as the first film. Scary Movie 2 tries its best to live up to that standard, but unfortunately falls very short. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for listening, and tune in next time as I continue my Scary Movie review with Scary Movie 3.